welcome back to another episode. Today we are at Bent Paddle in Duluth, Minnesota. Once again, joined with John here. He's got darts, I got lights. So we're gonna do them one at a time again, as you guys have seen from the other videos. If you haven't, go down to my playlist, check out the breweries, check out Bad Weather, and check out the other one we just did is Earth Minor. Once again, great breweries. So, I'll have John start with his first. So John, go ahead and pick one, whichever one you want. I'm gonna start with the 14 degrees, because this just sounds delicious. It's a, uh, I'm trying to figure out which one that was. Was that an amber? I think it was yeah, an amber. Yeah, it's an amber. Ooh, that's good. It's good? It's a little bit on the darker side. It has like a hoppy back taste, but it's not oh, It's not very strong. Not a that's, powering? Oh, definitely not. That's delicious. That is delicious. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with the, so I was here about a month ago. They just recently switched out their rotation. This is a new seasonal one called uh, Canoe. So we're gonna give this shot here. Let's give it up. It smells refreshing. Gotta sniff it. Ooh, that's good. That is definitely good. Easy to drink after low in the mon. Low in the mon. You wanna try that again? <laughs> Easy to drink after mowing the lawn? Yes. There we go. You can keep that in, I don't care. Oh, it's staying in there. <laughs> Blowing the mon. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on. Yep. Don't you know how to do that? What's your second one? My next second one is the Dusseldorf, which is a Munich style beer. I think it's a dark, it is a darker one, obviously. That's a, that, is, that is a dark guy. Yep, a little bit of hints of coffee. Like a very slight one. It's just a little bit on the very front end. You get a little bit of, get the roastness in it there. But it's actually a pretty light beer. I'm, not, I'm a little bit surprised how relatively light it is. My second one is going to be Cosmic. This one is a hazy. As you can tell, kind of can't see through it. So not at all. That's what makes it the hazy part. But it's thicker than pea soup. on the piney side. It's weird. I'm not going to say I hate it. I'm not going to say I enjoy it. It's, it, it's like kind of neutral. <laughs> this is actually my first one. It's actually kind of like a neutral. Like a don't hate it, don't love it. All What's right. your third one? The next one's the Dunkel. Another dark one because why the hell not? And this one actually won the 2023 award for cream. Ales. Oh, it did win. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, thought, I forgot it was cream ales. I thought it was a different, but it was like German. German style cream ale. That's right. Oh, I see why it won. That's smooth. That's easy to drink. That I can get lost in that one. That's that's a danger one. Get lost in its eyes? Yes, that's danger. That's danger. So I've got my next one is the Pilsner. Nice and light. Solid, solid taste, good, refreshing. Quenches the palate. Quenches the palate, but it does quench the thirst. I'll let you know after food. <laughs> <laughs> well, my last one is a Shire Mild. I don't know how long this, is this a permanent one? I don't know if it is. This one's another one that's just recently new. Yeah, oh right, this is a very, very new one. It's also only available on Nitro. Yeah, I gotta have it on Nitro. Kind of like you know when you have Nitro like, cold brew. Yeah, or like the um uh, when you have like Guinness and you have like a little if you get in like the can you have like a little nitrogen ball in there. That's what that is actually. Let's see. This one's based off of Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit, I think. Well, both technically. Uh oh. That's Josh. Shout out to John's phone. That was that's also really, that's really easy to drink. Like that's even easier to drink than the Dunkel. That is. That's evil? Oh yes. It's right. wonderfully evil. And my last one here is the Light Pilsner. What can I say? It's light. Yeah, Another light. one of those that, I honestly say it's probably good for a bonfire. It really is. It's not gonna be like, make you feel like you're getting full on beer, but just enough to where it's refreshing, and yeah. you're not gonna overdo it. Light beers usually have that kind of flavor profile. 
All right, so now we're gonna do the rating. John, do you wanna go first or would you like me to go first? You can go first. So, number one is gonna be the canoe. Honestly, very good, very refreshing. Excuse me. Number two, it's gonna be the pills. Let's get another good one. I love my pills, Murray's. That's one thing you'll notice about me. Number three is the light. Once again, good, refreshing. Doesn't make you feel bloated. Number four is gonna be Cosmic. Like I said, I gotta try this now. It's, it's a hazy. It it is the true definition of a hazy IPA. To be fair, though, that's a less hoppy than you get with some other IPAs. Well, yeah. But it's it's definitely if you if you want like a if you want to try out a hazy. It's like definitely a good one to try. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's a good start. Yeah, that's a beginner's for it'll, IPA. It'll introduce you to what they are like. But I, I don't like IPAs or hazies, and that's actually a decent one right there. So, there's my four. All right, we're going to go over to John now. Okay. My first one's going to be the Shire Mild, because that's, even though it's only on Nitro, that's dangerous. That is, this is dangerous. Second place is the Dunkel. Dunkel, yeah, I can see why I won the award. That... Ooh, this is, this is a danger, dangerous one. My third place is the 14 Grease. I like ambers, I like the darker color ones. It's really tasty. And it has a little bit of a hint of that pininess that you don't always get in some of the darkers. And last but not least is the Dussel. It's just not my favorite of these four, I guess, but still very, very tasty. I have no complaints with any of these beers. All right, perfect. So, if you were coming here and you had to choose a single one out of your four to drink, which would you choose? I have to go with the Shire Mild. That's just, it's so easy to drink. I think anyone could really drink this one, even if you're not a huge fan of darker beers. Because while it definitely is a darker one, it's it just goes down smooth and easy. I don't think anyone could dislike these, really. And I know you don't like dark beers. No, I do. I... Okay. You're not I can't say I, not I'm not fan. a big fan. I will taste it, give it a chance. Sometimes I end up liking them, but once again, what you guys see right here is basically my kind of boathouse. See what I mean, though. You have to. I can smell the coffee. It's Thanks. less than you think. It's not very strong. I definitely taste it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't taste it. Well, you gotta remember, I'm not a coffee drinker. Either. I don't drink coffee either. I hate coffee. Coffee is like, I can tell when the coffee's and stuff. And that's fair. I don't like coffee, but I like Guinness. And this, this is definitely a weak, this is definitely, I, the coffee flavor isn't as strong here. I think I'd come back and I think I would go with a canoe. Even though the sad part is it's a seasonal one. So by the time you watch this video, I'd probably say in the next like, couple weeks they'll probably switch it out but that's the fun thing about these breweries when you come here they're usually always switching out for new stuff trying new recipes making the next big thing so and winning awards yes and they would do win awards some of them so feel free to ask the brewmasters feel free to ask the people who pour you the drinks what do they recommend they, they're the ones who taste these all the time they're the ones who know basically what goes in them what's good what's not good so just show, tell them your flavor profile and they'll they'll guide you on the right path. I've yet to have one fail me on that. Yeah, they're they're behind the bar for a reason. They they know their stuff. But that will do it for me and John here and Ben Paddle. Remember guys, I will leave a link to the description down below with all their information here to the website. Come check them out, come have fun, come vibe. It's a really cool place. You're yeah. right next to the water and you're not too far from Canal Park. And if you guys do enjoy this kind of content, make sure you guys do subscribe. We are trying to go around the state of Minnesota and further wide, even if we can, when we try to get time off at our jobs. But appreciate you guys stopping on by. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Make sure you guys check out those other playlists, see our content, see what we do, see our shenanigans, jokes, giggles, laughs, and have a great rest of your day, guys.